Here's the first particle. If the Big Bang expanded, okay, and this is the expansion of space, the expansion of time, the expansion of matter, and the expansion of energy. Now, let me ask you this question. What is this universe expanding into right now, as I speak? In other words, what lies beyond the perimeter of the expansion, right at the edges, the shell, you might say. What lies here? What is the universe expanding into? What is it expanding towards? You know what it is? Nothing. Alright? So, if the universe is expanding towards nothingness, right here, what does that mean then? That means that all around, there's nothingness around the whole universe. All around. Nothing. Correct? So, what does this mean after all? So that means that if there's nothing out on the outside perimeter of the universe, and the Big Bang is uh, actually expanding towards nothingness. And there's nothingness around the whole perimeter of the universe. What does nothingness imply? It means, another way of saying it, is nothingness is the absence of time. So that means zero time. So here you have your particle, and here's the shell. This is all now, this. This is all expanding here. So you, here you have zero time on the outside of it. Now. Zero time, because there's nothing there. Space, nothingness, zero time. So, if this is the universe, and this is zero time, and if we bring it back down again, just so you see what happens again, let's bring this back down then, let's reverse the process, let's pretend this is a uh, movie, a little film strip, and you're playing it backwards now, so we're going to bring it backwards now to this point, okay, we're going to go backwards. So we're going to erase everything that has expanded, bring it right back to the original state, the singularity point, which means the first point, the beginning stages of the elementary particles. So, if you bring everything back to its original state, what do you have outside of the particle still? What do you have? You have zero time all around still. You have nothingness. You have nothing. So before it expanded to zero time, you still have zero time and nothingness around here right around it. Here you have nothing. When it explodes and comes out and expands, it expands toward nothing. Nothingness exists all around. There's nothingness here. So
So what does that mean again? You substitute nothing with zero time, the absence of time. And then you see what I'm coming to. You see what my point is. So, if you have nothing outside the perimeter of the expansion, and you shrink it down to its basic form, here we go, this small particle, if it expands this much, all around, okay, if it expands that much, guess what, you still have nothing, nothing, it's, it, it's literally expanding towards nothingness, which is the absence of time. So if you take this out, so you can see what's, what's going on in real life, if the first particle, if the first particle is surrounded by nothingness, okay, that implies that the first particle is surrounded by zero time, which means that the first particle here, before it expanded towards nothingness and created a big sphere, a big universe, outside of it you have nothing zero time. It doesn't matter how large the universe gets, you still have nothing around it. Literally. So if you have nothing around the universe, as it expands all around, you have nothing. And if you shrink this universe back to its basic element, right here, basic particle, elementary particles, basic particle. Here, all around, you have zero time still. You have nothing around it. You have nothing around it, and you have zero time. I'm going to show you how important this is. So if you have zero time, all around it, and you have one particle, one particle, one more time, if you have nothing, zero time, and then you have one particle, and this particle explodes and expands creates your universe, guess what? You still have nothing 